Good afternoon. You're listening to me, Matt Richardson, here on Virgin Radio. And I am incredibly excited to say I'm joined by uh, the incredible uh, Blink-182. Hello, Mark and Matt. How are you doing? Hello, Matt. Good. How are you today? I'm, I'm really quite happy. This is, this is the final one on my bucket list of people I've ever wanted to meet. Oh, thank you. You're it. Well, okay. Well, before I say thank you, who else is on the list? Um, well, so like it was, you know, standard people like Mary J. Blige. Okay. You know, quite, uh, Robbie Williams. Oh, okay. Well, then. Like we are... madam. You met Mary J. Blige, though. I have. How I have was met that? Mary J. Blige. We shared an airplane one time. Did you? Yep. What was what was that gig that you were going? Was it a gig that you were going to? Because I can't imagine that gig. We were going out. to the uh, European uh, MTV Awards. The, oh. Uh, yeah. So we shared a private jet that the label paid for. That's cool. Yeah, it was cool. That is, I mean, that's better than, that's a cool Mary J. Blige story. You shared a private jet with her. Yes, that's we did. Really cool. I sang it's Teenage Dirtbag to her and she told me to shut up. <laughs> you, you win, basically. You win. Yeah, mine wasn't exciting either. We were recording next to each other and she would say hi. We, oh. sm- we, uh, we smoked weed together. Actually. That's, that's quite cool. I don't know cool. if she wants people to know that. <laughs> we did. I got her stoned. <laughs> Well, I mean, so what an exclusive cool, that is. Um, it's now, dope. Uh, it's uh, lovely that you're over here in London. Obviously, it's a return for you, Mark, because you lived here. I did. And how long have you been out of the London game for? About a year and a half, almost two years, yeah. Do you miss it? Totally. I was just speaking on the drive over here how much I miss living here. And did you go back just for this album and to get everything back? Uh, well, we were at the end of our visa, and okay. my, my son wanted to be closer to the rest of our family, and my wife was ready to move back, so we moved back, and we'll we'll move back here eventually. Oh, lovely. Okay, yeah. so you've enjoyed being back for a couple of days. Oh, yeah, totally. Have you taken Matt out to all your favorite spots? Uh, we've only really had time to go out to one spot, but we went out to a great vegetarian restaurant called Mildred's. I love Mildred's. Yeah. Which one did you go to? So. Oh, it's so good, apart from the fact you have to queue. We oh, don't. wait, people have to queue? I'm sorry, <laughs> we didn't have to queue. Oh, you didn't have to queue. No, uh-uh. I don't even know what a queue no, is. What that <laughs> like, were we playing pool or something? <laughs> hey, you were never truly English if you didn't queue. That's not fair. That's yeah, our favorite thing. But they take reservations, so why would you queue in the first place? I didn't realize they've only just started taking reservations. Oh, okay, got it. You normally had to queue. Got it. They've opened one near me now, so I'm happy. Where's that? Uh, uh, it's in Camden, but I live sort of a bit north of that. Inkerman Street? Inkerman Street, yeah. Okay, no, good. not anymore, unfortunately. Now, um, I came to your gig on Tuesday night at the, uh, the Rose Theatre in Kingston. And I've got to ask, why did you decide to do a gig in Kingston, of all places? Uh, actually, when the idea of us doing something like that first came about, it was, will you guys play an in-store for people who pre-order your album? And we said, yeah, cool, that sounds like a fun idea. It's not something that we'd done before, but so many people uh, queued up to buy the record that they wanted to do something more than just have a stand amongst uh, CD racks. And so they actually went and rented out the venue, and it was really cool. It was a really special yeah, it was, experience. It was amazing. It is the best time I've ever seen you. Cool, thanks. Yeah, I've seen you quite a few, quite a few times. Rad. Uh, well, what made that one so special um, for you? It was because it was something you'd never done before, mm-hmm. I think, and also it was really intimate, whereas the last time, probably the last time I saw you, I saw you at Reading and Leeds okay. in 2014. I did both days. Wow. I bought a ticket for each site. That's awesome. So I could come to both because, cool. you know, I'm creepy like that. <laughs> um, and I haven't seen you since uh, Oxford Academy a long time ago with Alkaline Trio. Cool. Uh, but um, I... I was quite surprised as well about your Shakespeare knowledge on Tuesday mm-hmm. when you did uh, some of the Hamlet soliloquy. Yeah. Is that another, is that a sort of a side project you want to do? No, but some t- I'm really lame and I was just talking with Matt the other day and on days off I, I, I will memorize things. Like I memorized the alphabet backwards one day and then another day off I memorized the NATO phonetic alphabet. And at one I, point, I mean, you're going to have to prove one of these now. Alphabet backwards? Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, M, L, K, J, I, H, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. That, I mean, just one person clapping is the most sarcastic <laughs> sound. <laughs> yeah. Great yeah. job, Mark. Well Real, done. You got to do it slow. Like, Real yeah. cool, yeah, Mark. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the He memorizes things, and I try and learn about things that I hear about and don't know what they are. Like so what, string theory. Okay. I've been reading about string theory for the last couple What's of days. What's string theory? String theory is um, a theory that all particle, all mass... Um, uh, is compi- comprised of a loop, like our skin or anything that table and anything that has mass has uh, is in a series of loops. Okay. Str- hence, string theory. Okay. So that uh, there is actually a way to, um, you know, the way that like mass can be manip- like if you took a, a you know a saw to that table or whatever, you would ultimately be slicing through strings. All oh, right. Well, I mean, that is ultimately a concept it's album waiting like to happen. D- and, and I think it's began started because of when they discovered DNA and the makeup of 
you know the double helix the double Lovely. helix exactly yeah i mean if your next album isn't about string theory and is all written backwards i'll be it's horrifically actually a good name for uh, for like a some you know like a symphonic record i think string theory could also be like uh, there'd be a thrash metal band totally that's a great net metal band yeah. name isn't it string theory yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're, I'm going to look and see if there is one called... We're, we're grown-ups. You, yeah, 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 have a look. Um, now, uh, Matt, I need to ask as well, how did you end up getting involved in this new incarnation of Blink-182? Like, what, what was the story um, there? Uh, well, Mark and Travis asked me to play with them. And we, you said... We, they had... Uh, they had um, Travis does a, a festival every year called Muse Inc. It's uh, in Orange County. Yeah. Uh, near Los Angeles. And it's a car show, tattoo expo, uh, convention... And uh, tattoo convention, and then they always had they have three days of music and Blink. Uh, you know, Travis was p playing his own festival, and um, Tom dropped off, and they had that on the books, and they so they hit me up and asked me to fill in uh, for that show, and it went really well. And then we started writing together, and that went really well. We made a record, and that went really well, and now we're sitting here talking to you. Perfect. The combination of you know. Every you... time that story we tell that story, it gets shorter and shorter and shorter. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, uh, obviously, you you know you've had a huge career as well yourself with Alkaline Trio, who I'm, I've been a massive fan <clears> of oh, thank for you. years. Thanks and for, listening. Uh, for people that have never heard Alkaline Trio before, um, we're going to talk to you again a little bit in a minute. But first, uh, I'm going to play uh, Mercy Me. Oh, uh, cool. Just so people, you know, if they've heard it before, it's a brilliant song. And if not, this is where you've come oh, from. I appreciate before you've that. Thank you. So uh, up next is Alkaline Trio here on Virgin Radio. Hello, if you're listening, uh, if you just tuned in, I'm with Blink-182 here on Virgin Radio, uh, Matt and uh, Mark, and we're talking uh, about, you know, well, uh, how Matt got into the band. Uh, String Theory was, I thought was a good name for a band, but I got beaten to it by a bunch of loser virgins. <laughs> and um, I, I would, I'd love to talk about this new record as well, because I've been lucky enough to listen to some of it. I've been sent uh, a few tracks, and I think it's uh, the best thing you've done f since... You first broke up. I think it's it's back Thank to you. form. Um, it sounds like to me. Um, I don't know if you agree with this. I think it's kind of got the maturity of something like Neighborhoods or the self-titled, but it's got the fun element of Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. Yes. And was that a kind of a conscious thing to try and get back to that sort of fun, you know, excitable, like you know, carefree Blink rather than this sort of more serious side of it? It wasn't a conscious choice to go that way. It was a conscious choice to not be afraid to go that way. Okay. Um, we didn't overthink this record, and when we wrote a song that sounded like a classic Blink song, we didn't overthink it and, and be like, oh, well, is that too much like stuff we did, you know, back on this record, or is that too much like that? Like, if we loved the song, we just went with it, and we allowed ourselves to be ourselves, which is in large part to uh, John Feldman's producing style. Okay. And he just kept, like, not letting us overthink things and throwing us in the studio and saying, go write something, go write something, write the lyrics to the song right now, write the chorus of the song while I go make a coffee. Uh, and we'd go in and just work and work and work and work and not over edit or overthink anything and it ended up uh, helping me particularly. Yeah, and I mean, to both of you, it sounds like this album wasn't really, it, it doesn't sound like it was difficult to make. It sounds like it was fun and enjoyable rather than a labor of we have to make an album. Is that how it was? It was not difficult work, but it was hard. We worked okay, very yeah, hard yeah, on the yeah. record. Um, but, but it was fun. It was fun work. It was nonstop. It, everybody was in the studio all the time. We worked, you know, 18 hour days. We would show up to the studio at nine o'clock in the morning. We'd work until, you know, late early hours of the morning and loved every second of it incredible well it really comes across and for people um i've got a few friends here that are desperate uh, to come and see you live i've got a friend who's flying to chicago my friend sean sean walsh who's a comedian uh, he's flying to chicago to see you awesome in september but are there going to be some british shows that we can expect yeah we actually uh, met with our agent over here uh, at the rose uh, at oh, the lovely. rose theater and started talking about plans to come over next summer Lovely. That's the, that's the plan right now. We want to do a full-on tour over here and hit all of Europe and, and bring the music to everybody. Yes, please do, because I can't afford flights to America to come and see you. <laughs> I think you can afford but flights you can afford, here. But you can afford tickets to Le Reading and Leeds? Oh, I mean, like, I, I was doing the comedy tent. Okay. So I, I do stand-up is my job. Fantastic. So I was doing the comedy tent, well, so I kind cool. of managed okay. to get to do both. Great. Um, and it's uh, quite weird. Um, I remember when we were sort of talking about this interview in the office, um, uh, when, when most people ask, you know, when most comics get asked, oh, what's your musical inspiration or your comedy inspiration? Most comics say another comic. And I did this interview once. It was like for The Guardian. Uh -huh. And they're like, what do you want to be? And I went, I want to be the blink of comedy. Oh, that's and awesome. And they went, what do you mean? I went, well, like, 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 I mean, you were the first people that talked about your penises for a living that I was, <laughs> that I was kind of put in touch with, like, you know, right. with, through music. Um, and I went, oh, I'd love to talk about my penis for a living. <laughs> and now I do. So That's thank you very much. Congratulations. Awesome. My parents hate you. Uh, 
They wanted me to do something really good, like be a lawyer, but no, it's just me and my balls. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to end it with uh, Bored to Death, obviously, you know, the brand new single, which is absolutely amazing. And yeah. your new album, California, is out on the 1st of July. Mine's pre ordered. I'm really excited about it. I pre ordered mine as well. Have you, have so you bought did your I. own? I did. In we fact, are, yesterday, yesterday I got an alert because we released uh, Rabbit Hole yesterday a song off the album and i got an alert on my phone saying you have content available for download but isn't that like giving like having ten dollars and then giving yourself three dollars back or something buying your own album yes but i like our music i'm a fan <laughs> yeah. of liquid 82 it's i want to have a record it's also good luck i, I like is it really what, a, is that a, is yeah, that a thing absolutely for me it is with alkaline trio or blink or anything i always if you want other people to buy you got to lead by example yeah true there you go uh listen it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you thank you so Likewise. much for coming thank on the show you too, man. Uh, thank you. california is out on the first of july uh board to death is coming up next here on Virgin.